this how could this be real how or how could this be fake excuse me what do you mean it's fake artillery it's a dud or, or but they're not going to make the same explosion 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 sound as a real round or as a real bullet or whatever exactly where the fuck is the explosion all you hear is the shot the gunpowder being ignited where's the explosion know. what blew up i don't know i guess like back to him. The Bolt Off with Big Jim podcast. Guess what, motherfucker? Some of the information you are about to hear, some may find disturbing. I don't know who gave them this or who gave them the clearance. On the crotch. Oh, my lord. Right there. Can we Google that? Yeah, that's what I thought. And then I oh. fucking stumbled down a dark hole. And I love it. Great cake parties. So, you know, I'm going to believe anybody's bullshit. I'm going to believe mine. It sounds... Uh, not politically correct, but you two motherfuckers need Jesus. <laughs> Mojave Desert. <laughs> I don't know, but I know the Mojave some, Desert. Something was shot at. Whether it was one of these flying saucers behind me, or a balloon, or something. Dude, it could be Pink Floyd's fucking pink. Pink pig flying. The, my point is, where do the fucking projectiles land? Those things are huge. Yes, they're tracers. You can see them. Any dumb fuck with glasses or no glasses are going to see. It's a. <laughs> <laughs> where the hell did it go? I don't know. 1,400 rounds. Dude. 1,400 rounds. Jesus Christ. I, it's, I call shit. Welcome back to the episode, everybody, or to the podcast. Yes. This Welcome. is episode 51. Yes, thank you for tuning in last week for our live episode. Yes, we are going to go live for our 50th. So thank you for joining us. I hope everybody had a fun time. This is pre-recorded, so we don't know if you, if anybody even joined us or even if we did <laughs> a live episode. But... This is a very fun episode. It's a very special episode. It is an alien episode. You have two Mexicans right here. We are the only aliens that are associated with this podcast, but one that Big Jim is not very happy with. It by the way, no sense, we're, we're your hosts, by the way. I, yeah. I'm Bo. I'm Big Jim. This shit don't make no sense. Listen, if you're a new listener, thank you for tuning in. Um, this is also something that we haven't really done in over a year and over 50 episodes. Introduce ourselves and thank all of the new people for tuning in and following us on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and all of the other stuff. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But um, yeah, this was a fun story. I, I, I couldn't stop laughing. So your, your, your reaction to everything was fucking hilarious. Well, I never made it never. I never thought about it in the way that you were reading the story until I asked you what i was asking you now it makes absolutely no sense to me that there was anything in the sky but who I, but there could have been something in the sky right a cloud <laughs> <laughs> birds bats why would it why would a bird be flying at 3 3 a.m mothman Mothman could could have, could have done it. Bats, owls. They're not gonna see a a freaking owl or a bat on radar, dude. There's no way. There was nothing up there. There had there there, was there not, had there to have been something, up, dude. There had where's to the black tape? Something. Where's the black box or the black tape or whatever? <laughs> this black is box? bullshit, dude. Yeah, I can't believe this story. Listen, everyone, <laughs> this is a fun, fun, fun episode. If you can't tell, I'm I couldn't stop laughing for I think the last half hour that we talk you have some cool stuff for you guys to go check out head over to our flow page that's flow.page slash btwbj and yes i get it i know i say it all the time but it is what it is okay we got cool stuff we got all, all of our links we got our youtube our instagram our tiktoks our tweeters and we even have merch yes mm -hmm. our merch is now available the new design that was made by Joel Munoz of Munoz de Diseños. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It is up there, and we have it on multiple things, from shirts to tank tops to sweaters to travel mugs and stickers. You can get one of anything that you want. 
I have some ideas coming up um, that I would like to get started on. And as far as right now, summertime is, is around the corner. And I had an, an idea. Okay. You got two chubby guys doing a podcast. And a, a lot of the times, especially now with Megan Three Stallion, she's always, hot girl summer's coming back. Fuck hot girl summer. This is chub, chubby boy summer. We finna <laughs> yeah, do this right. shit. We finna do this shit live, folks. No. Keep oh, my yeah. shirt on. Oh yeah, gotta show, gotta show the belly off. No thanks. It's 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 going down. So get get ready for some Chubby Boy Summer merch that's coming soon. But as far as right now, we do have our Botox with Big Jim logo on shirts right now. Head over to redbubble.com slash Botox with Big Jim or just head over to our flow page and check it out there. It's a direct link right to the shop, right to the stuff that you can go get. So please go check it out and we would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And lastly, Absolutely. not least, Hit us up on it, Apple. Five star review, or just a review in general. We already got one one star. Little bitch didn't want to leave any context, but he just gave us one star. Or they should say. So other than that, um, what'd you think? Of the the story, yeah, I'm I'm frazzled, dude. But he got me thinking. Now it had to be a Hollywood production. So it, roll the tape. But what if it wasn't? <laughs> So roll the documentary tape. Sons of bitches. <laughs> well, listen, I hope everybody enjoys this episode. It was very fun. And like I said, this is pre-recorded. So if you did join us for our last one, this may be episode 50 or 51. We'll see. Enjoy the episode. This is the Battle of Los Angeles. Now, what have you heard about the Battle of Los Angeles? I really haven't heard anything about it. I mean, other than seeing the movie and then... It wasn't that bad a movie, though. No, I didn't care for it. And then watching the show, uh, Blue Book Project Blue Book, but mm -hmm. I don't know. If, I thought they debunked it. And then some other paranormal show. So I don't know if it was true War of the Worlds type shit or it was military shooting at hot air balloons or whatever they were. Mm, yeah i i have no idea because there's a lot of theories but behind it like a lot but for those who don't know february 25th 1942 there is a famous photo of an unidentified flying object also known as a ufo giant spotlights caught something in the sky what it is to this day nobody really knows Hundreds of shells and 50 caliber rounds flew across the sky, lighting it up as if it was the 4th of July. Just as fast as, as the UFO arrived, it then disappeared. And that was in February. Uh, that was the 25th of February. Two days earlier, everyone was on high alert and most of the soldiers were greener than green, meaning they were very rookie. They really didn't know their elbow from their yeah. asshole. Newly enlisted. <laughs> Pilots and the radar mistook fishing boats, logs, and even whales as submarines sometimes. So I, I say I bring that up because especially back then, radar and us being people are not the best fucking detectors of things. And radar wasn't at the peak of what it's at now. I mean, radar, they could probably find like a fucking a dead body floating in the and know exactly what, what what it is with satellite images too. Oh, satellite, yeah. Radar then was just an image was was just a, like a little, discoloration, right? I mean, it was just a blip, like a little a dot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All, like in aliens. Yeah. Doo -doo -doo -doo. An attack from a Japanese submarine hit an oil field in Santa Barbara on that day, February 23rd. No one was killed, luckily, during this attack, although it did send a devastating chill down the back of the U.S. military because they didn't realize how close these people were. The fact that they were even, even able to get within the coastline of California to start blowing shit up. Yeah, that's a um, restricted area. Oh, yeah, big time now. Yeah. 
the fact that technology can go that far now. Dude, just the fact that they were navigating with just stars and satellite <laughs> or uh, stars and moons and hopes and, and dreams. <laughs> yeah. Galileo and all that other shit, you know, all them old na Navy, uh, with just compasses and sundials and discs, all that. I mean, I'm not, I wouldn't know exactly what I'm saying, but they were navigating ocean waters with s simple hand tools. Yeah, yeah, they were. That's still yeah. very crazy. This hand tools in general like that is fucking insane. Mm. So now, on on this day of February 25th, a little after 3 a.m., the radar spotted an enemy about 120 miles off of the coast of Los Angeles. Sirens sounded in preparation of an enemy attack. With the news of an approaching enemy, people were ordered to find shelter and a citywide blackout went into an effect. Which kind of brings me back to one of our earlier episodes when we talked to uh, Mr. Izzy Diaz. <laughs> yeah tin right? foil hat. <laughs> the tinfoil hat but i saw this and, and i was like wait a minute so they were able to shut down the power grid themselves to black everything out to make sure that okay no one's over here if this were you know a japanese submarine a german submarine or something like that that they weren't going to go and blow up L la that they were just able to shut it off like that i mean it's just a switch now it's computers, but back then it was just a you know a big. I don't want to say like a light switch, but it was just a control panel to turn off a, a grid, or a transformer. It's not very difficult. Yeah, but I just didn't think that it'd be that easy. You like? Does that make sense? No, well, kind of. But even back then, lighting wasn't as what it is right now. That's over almost eighty years ago. Mm. You know, so. All they had was incandescent filament light bulbs. Now we have fluorescent LED. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Right. Fucking red and purple and green. Yeah. With all the <laughs> spectrums of the light from white to black. Yeah. That's, that's so trippy. Yeah. In minutes of getting the radar blip on, on their radar, soldiers manned anti-aircraft -air guns, spotlights, and guns swept the sky, searching for any type of enemies. Then 3 a.m. on the dot hit. I also thought thought about this too. What's also associated with 3 a.m.? Witching hour. Right. So what? Yeah. What? What if? I mean, this is going to go super weird conspiracy now, but <laughs> okay. What if at 3 a.m. they didn't see an alien or a UFO? They saw like Mothman. Hey man, who knows? Who I mean, do, do you really think they've got everything? Uh, the true reports of everything that happened that night, or leading to that night, and and nights after? I don't know. Okay, hey, well, how far off the coast were were how far off the coast was this battle taking place? It was literally right off of right over the city of L.A. Okay, so it was Pacific time, our yeah. time zone. It was our time zone. It was right, it, and the coast to downtown LA, that's like a half hour, 45 minute drive. Not no more back then, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not no more. If yeah, now it's traffic, like an hour, and, lucky, hour and 30 you minutes. You could walk there faster. <laughs> Echoes of explosions rang across LA shortly after. Other coastal defenses joined the party. An article snippet from the LA Times said anti aircraft batter batteries dotted the heavens with beautiful, beautiful, if sinister, orange bursts of shrapnel. It's actually pretty well written if, if you think about it. Well, you got to realize back then everything was handwritten or a typewriter. Yeah, and they had better. <laughs> they had they had more time they didn't go on google and say what's a synonym for this <laughs> yeah yeah there was no distractions either it was the story if you yeah. want to get paid it was a story yeah that's actually true which we'll discuss something a little after this okay mayhem riddled the sky 
for over an hour. So basically these fools shot at something for over an hour. And and even back then, I wouldn't I wouldn't say World War II, but maybe World War One, there would actually have to dump water on the barrels. Yeah. Of all those anti aircraft aircraft. The long guns, the yeah. 20 millimeter guns and all that. Yeah. They would have to dump water just to cool them down. Now, according to the reports, which which a lot of these were either history.com, Wikipedia, and a few other ones, which I will be putting in the show notes. According to, to reports, there were no planes, there were no blimps, there were no balloons, no flying monkeys, nothing. Oh, the Wizard of Oz had no influence on yeah, this. Yeah, the Wicked Witch of the East <laughs> did not, or the Wicked Witch of the West did not West. come and and fly around and you know f- try and fight Dorothy or fight the U.S. Army. Now that's just according to what some of the reports said that there was nothing in the sky, which arguably can be, I think, proven legitimate because think about it: you're in the middle of a war with Japan, Germany, and all these other forces you're not going to want certain aircraft flying over certain cities and they're like yeah we're not going to have people just flying around like it's a normal fucking day or you're going to get shot out of the sky Tom (laughs) Coastal Artillery Corps Colonel or Colonel John G. Murphy said this in a report Quote, imagination could have easily disclosed many shapes in the sky in the midst of the, that weird symphony of noise and color, end quote. Meaning it was dark as shit, everyone was on edge, and someone happened to spot something in the sky, and they're just like, light it up! Yeah, that's true panic, dude. I mean, and, and at that time, you got to realize something, that's... That was close to Beverly Hills, correct? Long, or was it Long Beach? No, that was long, that was closer to Long Beach. Well, I mean, okay. Beverly Hills, Long Beach, they're both kind of not that far from one, one, one another to begin with. Okay. Well, I mean, who's to say that Hollywood, at the time, Hollywood was in existence as far as all the production and the makeup and all that. Who's to say that they didn't have anything to do with it? That's a good point. You know? That's a pretty good. Point trying out good equipment, trying out new cameras, trying out devices or, or or props. Can you imagine if someone was like, "Okay, I have an idea. I know that there's a war going on, but I have a Let's prop." Fuck with people. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Because nowadays that shit happens all the time. Sure. Especially you nowadays. Try out your, yeah. Why not try out your experiment? So they were the first people to do the first punked on <laughs> on, on the West Coast before it's probably Ashton Kutcher. Now, according to many men that were already on the ground shooting at this thing, they swore up and down that they saw a Japanese they saw Japanese planes. They saw the rising sun on the wings or on the tails of of this one particular thing or multiple. There's been several several re- reports saying that they saw one thing or multiple. Okay. I think well, here, I think it was just one. Well, here's the thing: you just said that the grid was off. There was no light. They didn't have street lights back then. Yeah, they didn't have shit. It was dark. So how are they going to identify the rising sun emblem? I mean, it's white. You can, and it's late at night. You know, yeah, they, out that it's three a.m. in the morning. That far out in the off the coast, yeah, You're not but, gonna see shit. Okay, well, well it, it now it didn't say, it did not say, and I did not read up. If anybody wants to correct me, please. It did not say that there was a storm that evening, so there were no clouds. Skies no. could have been clear. It could have been a full moon, which illuminated. On and I'm sure you've been out more than more than I have gone camping mm-hmm. and stuff. But when the full moon is out, it lights up pretty good not as well as the sun obviously so but... it's fact that there was a full moon that night that's no no that's what i'm saying i, I don't oh, know okay but yeah i mean that could play that could be a factor but like i said if it's over the water it's dark 
you can't see you can't see if it's a flat earth or a round earth you can't see the end of the darkness it's definitely the sun the seth the sun rises behind you yeah two thousand miles behind you well listen i don't know but this is just what i'm assuming and on mm-hmm. top of that, artilleryman Charles Patrick, <laughs> the guy had two first names like Ricky Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> he said this, quote, I saw six planes, the shells bursting all around them. Naturally, all, all of us fellows were anxious to get our two cents worth in. And when the command came, everybody cheered like a son of a gun, end quote. Meaning he saw multiple items or multiple uh, um, aircraft crafts. Thank you. Okay. Crafts af- as these explosions from anti-aircrafts were going on. I understand that. And that can illuminate that can give you enough light to see an object. Absolutely. I mean, even if it's a split second, you can see something, sure. the, you know, the projectile is hot. And if it hits metal, it's going to make, it's going to spark or mm-hmm. blow the shit up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's that's achievable and believable, sure. But still, I can't imagine being off the coast and trying to shoot something. And Basically with your eyes closed, that's how dark it is. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Your eyes are fucking closed. But well, proceed. Day broke, finally. It's now five in the morning and sunlight was starting to come up. Over 1,400 rounds of anti-aircraft ammo were shot at a UFO. The all-clear was given. Confusion and shock hit every person like a right hand from Tyson. There were no aircrafts. Yeah, Yeah, back then. There were no aircrafts. Oh, there you go. go. Yeah. (laughs) But there were no aircrafts anywhere, according to what they said. None were shot down. None were flying in retreat, none landing on the Hollywood Boulevard, like some claims were to have been reported. A few people in some of the reports that I read said they saw planes actually land on Hollywood Boulevard. Well, Hollywood Boulevard's not that big. I don't know if anybody's ever been there. It's not that big. And if you've been there today, it is a literal shit show. Yeah, and you got overhead wires, you got <laughs> tall buildings, you've got trees. You, it's it's not possible. Even with the and these are big the Har- planes. Yeah, the Harrier Junction out of the UK that elevates and lowers with the oh, yeah. wings with the mm-hmm. motors. Yeah, like a bumblebee. Yeah, so they but they said they saw nothing. And I this one I definitely don't believe of planes landing on Hollywood Boulevard. I don't believe that at all. No, must have been a Nicolas Cage movie. Had to have been. <laughs> <laughs> now, no damage was done by <laughs> any enemy forces, meaning there was no damage to any of the surrounding buildings in downtown Los Angeles. Nothing was shot from. Nothing was hit. There were there were no return fire from the from the U.S. government. The return However, fire from who? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. There was no return fire. However, the damage that was caused was from the U.S. soldiers. A golf course was destroyed after several four-inch artillery rounds hit the golf course. Some of the buildings were hit with shrap metal. (laughs) There were no serious injuries that came as a result of the gunfire. Although five people died of a heart attack because of the loud gunfire. Well, yeah, that's some loud shit, dude. (laughs) I don't need to laugh. And then two people died while driving in the dark during the blackout. (laughs) How the fuck? You know you have lights on your car. It may be old, but at least get some type of a flashlight or a candle inside of your car. Or just don't drive. (laughs) <laughs> well the lights weren't that bright dude <laughs> incandescent lighting was shit back then or whatever they had automobiles back then i don't know that just it, that made me laugh extremely hard that five, five people died of a heart attack because of a loud <laughs> so so 
I'm going to hell for that. This is happening right up. This is happening off the coast, Highway One, correct? No, 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 no. This is. Or are they inland? This is, they're inland. They're over downtown LA. Okay, so that's what I, I, I guess I just never read. I'm thinking they're really they're combating whatever's oh, that up there, off, like right off like the beach, right offshore. Yeah. No, yeah. no, no. These, the military is like right on shore, like you know. Yeah, they're on shore, the but they turned to Long face Beach towards Port. downtown LA. And they're shooting that shit towards downtown LA. Oh, I'm thinking, oh, I didn't know that. I thought everything was over the coast. I thought everything was now, over the water. To, according to, to what I read, this this is what I this is what, what I read. But again, if anybody wants to correct me, please leave a comment down below. Ah, uh, I never knew that. I am I my assumption was that it was always over i get it battle over la i understand that but i'm thinking it's like over in toward the water why the hell how the hell okay that that even doesn't make sense how is enemy plane gonna go over california <laughs> they can't without <laughs> going unless they're coming through fucking new york or fly up towards mexico or and then go in towards there but no what i mean without being detected I mean, the Oceanside is just down. I mean, you, they would have Oceanside, Oakland Military Beach, Long Beach Military. I'm sure they had uh, radars that were that would be able to detect. Anyway, I mean, this is had, new. I never really, I never really thought about it. Other than this is some in of the my stuff, mind is the yeah, movie. This is some of the stuff that I found out too. Like it's it, it's all fairly news new news to me because I, I never really researched it or really looked at it until because like i said i only saw this on ancient aliens one time and i was like oh yeah that makes sense okay so how is there not so much damage inland i don't know okay but i, I mean there, there was no, no there, there was damage i mean there was a golf course that was all fucked up a couple of buildings were hit Five, seven people died because they were but no homes the shells no. have to land projectiles do land where did they hit i have no idea two days after this e event government and media went back and forth for the following days government officials even argued with each other the secretary of fort of defense the no 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 the Secretary of the Navy, Frank Knox, said the men just had jittery nerves. Secretary of War, Henry Stenson, Stimson, claimed 15 planes flew overhead. They disguised themselves as commercial aircrafts in the hopes to strike fear into the public. Years later, in 1983, the Office of Air Force History stated they had actually released air balloons just pr before the shooting had happened. Why would you release any type of, uh, air, of air balloons if the radar had just picked something up off of the coast? Okay. So what's the, what's, what's the, what's the cover up? What is, what was, what was being hidden? That's the thing. I have no idea. I, no. I, okay. I, I don't know. I mean, I'll do more, a little more research into like what sort of happened around this time period, but I have no idea to, to my knowledge, nothing significant other than us starting the war had happened. Okay. Now you see, this is even more intriguing. And I've always been under the assumption that it was something that was fought over the ocean. I didn't know it was fought inland over property people. Over, yeah, that's why five people died. Six, seven people. Shell shock. I mean, that could be just combustion. <laughs> that can just be, you know, repercussion from a from a, a mortar or whatever. I, just, I, I don't mean to laugh, but I mean, just how many people were just scared shitless? <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, try, I mean, really, oh no, I get what you're saying, but just triangulate. I mean, put your, put, does it show exactly over what city the battle took, took over Hollywood? Was it over Hollywood? I mean, people said that Studio that, City. That's what people said that they saw plans laying on Hollywood Boulevard. Yeah, happened right over LA. Yes, first, but what part does it thing. have? Like a grid? Does it have a, a a diagram of where? 
so for for those wondering i'm currently on history.com and a court the only place that really gives like a grid or a area it says santa barbara oh santa monica so it was right over venice beach there we go so i was wrong this entire time but of course but people did say that they saw planes land in hollywood boulevard oh i'm just i'm i'm actually just really surprised that it was over inland any part of la and not other than five people dying of noise and two of an accident did I mean, they shoot I, did they shoot real bullets? Oh they shot <laughs> oh yeah. I mean the 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 pictures which which I'll put on Instagram. I mean they're they're tracer rounds. You can see them, they're huge. I can I understand that what did they hit? I have no idea. Where did they land? I have no idea. But in the end of this entire fiasco, most people claim that the battle was actually nerves and fears of a possible attack. Because of Pearl Harbor that that had happened just the six seven months prior in 1941, which is understandable. Hell, it's yeah. And others say, much like how you just said earlier, it was all plans for a movie. Oh, I didn't say that, but oh, oh maybe I did. You did. Yeah. You said, was it Hollywood doing this, 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 and this? Well, yeah. I just thought maybe they were. Some people okay, now say, you really got me trip. I'm like, wait a minute, how's it not some a production? People, some people said that it was. It was in LA, which was is the kingdom of the film industry. Right. It, it, right over Santa Monica. You drive backwards, you drive east, you're heading right into Studio City. So it's not that far. No. Now, so it's a hoax? Is this I, really a hoax, dude? I, oh, I don't know. I'm waiting, I'm, I'm very I'm waiting curious. for you to tell me. Uh Jokes on you again. <laughs> no, but it is a reminder that no matter how trained any anyone is, how many battles you fought, were still filled with emotion and vulnerability, especially during the times of World War II. Dude, shell shock lasts forever. They're probably still stunned after World War One. I'm I'm sure they are. Yeah. I, listen, all I'm saying is is is. I don't know what happened that night. All I know is that I'm thoroughly intrigued that maybe aliens got the drop on us and they were trying to teabag us, you know, from the sky, like, ha ha, bitches. Can't. Yeah, but we didn't nothing. There was no damage from anything. There was no proton blaster and ray, uh, uh, ray, ray gun, gun shot. <laughs> yeah, there was no damage to the earth. But would you, would, so. Would you, do you think that an alien would or ali aliens or an alien uh, uh, nation or whatever would try to attack us? I don't know. I, I don't know. I mean, hell, uh, people's there's speculation that that we are visited by aliens. We'll find that out later. But just space junk would create damage. Yes, it has to come from outer space. It burns up before it enters our atmosphere. I understand that. But if something that doesn't and it hits the ground, it's going to make damage. Yeah. Correct? Yeah, it would. I'm not saying that this isn't that this isn't false or fact or whatever. It's just I'm, it's I'm, driving I'm just me more, nuts now, more... dude. I I am I am clueless. I thought for sure, oh, it's is all you know, I've seen the movie and I've seen the programs, but now you got me tripping. Like I never realized it was fought over inland. Yeah, I always thought it was fought over the ocean. Like they were, like they were shooting towards the sea. Yeah, like you know, the no, they were they were inland. I mean, there's pictures. I'll and I'll pull up the pictures. They're literally, they're not even on shore. They're they're in, not so far inland according to this one picture. But I mean, they're all above someone's like like a neighborhood a neighborhood a, a valley like there's you can see mountains okay so it's desert i mean that's uh i, I mean, mean it, it wasn't it did as... say santa monica according to what history.com just read but i don't know it it is trippy it is and it leaves speculation of 
are aliens really out there? Are a- aliens really real? I don't even think this has anything to do with aliens, dude. I'm not even convinced. I'm not even convinced they were shooting real ammo. No? Hey, why, so then why, the would they, why would they shoot fake ammo? To scare everybody else? Like war propaganda? Exactly. Why not let it? They had surplus to get rid of. Who the fuck knows? They had to get, they wanted five people dead from shell shock. I don't know. But it just doesn't make no sense. You can't throw anything. You can't. I mean, you go above a building, just say a high rise, and you drop a bowling ball, you're going to get a dent in the earth. Concrete, asphalt, sand, water. I mean, there was some just the damage velocity. to buildings. There, there was damage to buildings. There was damage to a golf course. And seven people Jim, died. Think about it. <laughs> you said 1,400 rounds were shot east, north, south. Of L.A. Yeah. Where did the fucking projectiles land? That's what I want to know. How is there not more damage? It can't be real. I have no idea. I honestly have no idea. I gotta see this picture. How how could this how could this be real? How or how could this be fake? Excuse me. What do you mean? It's fake artillery. It's a dud. Or, or, but they're or, not going to make the uh, same explosion, explosion, explosion sound as a real round or as a real bullet or whatever. Exactly. Where the fuck is the explosion? All you hear is the shot, the gunpowder being ignited. I Where's the explosion? Know. What blew up? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Jeez, dude, that's what I'm trying to. It, it, it uh, don't make no sense. Now that you're, now that you're saying all this, it makes no. It had to be a prop, yeah, yeah. or a production, or make believe. So, and maybe fi- they sprayed LSD over everybody. Your, I don't in, know. In your final words, you thought the battle. Of, do you think the battle of LA was a hundred percent hoax, fake? It has to be. If you show me wherever the damage were, those rounds landed. Okay, granted, L.A. is full of desert. Even back then, there was a lot of desert. Yep. If yeah, they exactly. made it, don't forget, there's okay. not there. It wasn't populated as I mean, it probably was populated, but not as heavily with buildings and other no stuff I, like that. I get it. Homes I get it. I get it. So you're gonna tell me from 1947 to now with all the building that's gone through. They haven't found any shells. Expl- a, a 20 millimeter round is huge. It's, it's over a foot long. It's, Where it's the motherfucking happen? Under the, a little under the, or my forearm. Yeah. So where did that projectile go? Excavators had to dig it up. Where did it land? What if it just went so far into the ground that it just became material or, you know, a part of the earth? It's lead. It's not going to decompose, dude. <laughs> it was, I mean, technology back then wasn't as good as it is today. It's still fucking lead. <laughs> we still shoot lead. <laughs> Even the muskets had lead. Is that a freaking musket? <laughs> uh, whatever. They're like uh, uh, Malibu's most wanted homeboy with the is musket. That, is, that a, is that a musket? <laughs> Yeah, dude, this uh, shit can't be real. It, it, I am not convinced. Hell, you shoot a, a uh, twenty-two, and you're gonna know it's going somewhere. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. I think I, I, I. Okay, so you'll we'll 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 put it like this: you are a non-believer of of Battle of Los Angeles. You think it is a hope? You, you can't. I yeah. All I would, all I'm asking is, where's the physical damage from 1,400 rounds of artillery mm-hmm. inland, north, east, and south? Where is it at? Maybe, maybe government swooped it up. Maybe it did hit and they fell, and they were like, "Oh shit, we can get the material of whatever it hit and pick it up." Maybe they're not, they're not going to tell the public. I'll be on the fence. You'll be a, you'll be on the what far. What the fuck did it hit? No sign. What did it hit? A star? I don't know. There's no spaceship up there. Uh, what if there was? I mean, people saw saw planes flying. 
It's have, you seen Indepe- have you seen Independence Day? We got our asses kicked. If it wasn't for Dennis Quaid's alcoholic ass flying through the middle of that <laughs> thing, we got our asses kicked in that movie. Yeah. And that was in 1990. Uh-huh. We're talking 50 years before that. Artillery is artillery. It's still a projectile. Yeah. Where in the fuck did they land? That's all I'm curious. Find that out and then let me know. Or I'll look. Now I really want to know. Yeah, we could definitely we could look it up. But that, ladies and gentlemen, was the episode. Dude, uh, that fucking that ain't even that. I'm so like irked right now. I don't even <laughs> want to eat dinner. <laughs> <laughs> thank you everybody for watching thank Jesus you everybody for Christ. listening um i hope everybody enjoyed it i know i'm having a blast right now fuck and i'm not even drinking i haven't drank in a month yeah me either i'm, I'm barely having a, a soda water right now yeah but like i had mentioned earlier in the episode at the beginning of this episode please be sure to go to our flow page flow.page slash btwbj there you'll find all of our links, our YouTube, our Instagram, our Facebook, TikTok, Twitter. And yes, we now have new merch associated with us. It is located on redbubble.com. If you go to flow page, you will find it there and it'll take you straight over there. And it's not just shirts. You're not, not just uh, shirts. You got tank tops. You got stickers. You got magnets. You got uh, travel mugs, a lot of different things. So head on over. Check, check out Redbubble, check out our stuff, and we will have more things coming soon. Is it live now? Yeah, yeah as of when this comes out, 100% yeah. live. 100% live. Oh, well. All right, I'll check it out. So thank you, everybody, for listening. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Again, we are your hosts. I'm Bo. I'm Big Jim. I still don't believe this fucking story. <laughs> the thanks. three stooges had to be involved. Thank you for checking in on us. <laughs> Hope everybody has a wonderful, wonderful night, day, morning. Talk to you later. Peace. Ciao.